So we've got some loft conversion questions today. Okay. Go for it. Okay, first one is, why should I consider a loft conversion? Well, people consider a loft conversion because it adds value to their property, plus they can get an extra room, or a room and an en suite for maybe an extra family member, or they need extra space. So yeah, people go for a loft conversion to add value for their property, or to create extra space. Brilliant. Um, next one would be, how much value does a loft conversion add to a property in London? Well, it all depends what area of London the clients live in, plus how big the loft conversion is. But on average, it's gonna increase the value by 20 to 30% on the market value of the property. Okay, brilliant. A common one is, how can I find out if my loft is convertible and what is the minimum head height for a loft conversion? Um, you can find out if the loft is suitable for a conversion by obviously getting up there having a look. Can you stand? Is it, is it, uh, have you got full head height? Um, you really need at least, you know, two meter plus um, to get a loft conversion. Um, if you have got a restricted head height, you can lower the floor a little bit, but there's an increased value on the build cost. Yeah. So, you know, and the simplest thing, if anyone's thinking about getting a loft conversion, just give us a call and we come around free estimates, not a problem. Perfect. Um, we touched on this a little bit, but another common one is how much will the loft conversion cost in London? So again, um, it all depends what kind of loft you're having. Maybe it could be just a straightforward loft conversion. It may be a mansard, that's when it's straight at the front or at the back, or it may be a mansard plus a pod room, you know, the bit that comes out at the rear of the house. But on average, I would say the bill cost for a loft conversion mansard would be 50 to 60K. If you're gonna have the pod room, factor in another 20K. And that is structure and fit out. Perfect. Uh, is planning permission required for a loft conversion? In most boroughs of London, planning and permission is definitely required. Um, but again, if anyone's unsure, give us a call. I will pop round or one of my team will pop round to give you some free advice. But yes, planning approval will be required for a loft conversion in London. Perfect. Okay, um, very similar. Do I need building regulations approval for a loft conversion? Yes, you will. So once you get the planning drawings and they get submitted, the project will get approved within two months. Uh, once it's approved, we then get building regulation drawings. We, you can either have a local authority take care of building control, or we can get a private company to do building control as well. We tend to go with a private company because they're a lot quicker, maybe a tiny bit more money, but more efficient, and um, they will listen to us. We can guide them more than a local council. Yeah. But yes, you will need building control. Perfect. Okay, um, do I need my neighbour's permission to do a lock conversion? <clears throat> so, when you do any kind of construction project which ties in with the neighbour's wall, loft conversions, mansards, pod rooms, extensions, basements, there's a thing called the party wall agreement. So, I get a surveyor, the next door neighbour gets a surveyor, which the client pays for, and they do a thing called the party wall agreement. Basically, they have uh, copies of the drawings, they have copies of the structural drawings, they have maybe a, um, a conversation with the contractor, and um, there'll be some maybe some uh, clauses, what they want, maybe um, they got some requests. But yes, you have to have a party all agreement to start any loft conversion or any construction project which ties into the adjoining house. Okay. 
what specialists do I need to convert my loft? So, to create a loft conversion, you just need a trusted, reliable builder who has past experience in loft conversions. It's not difficult, it's not a major build, but someone who's you know, got experience, maybe call up some past references, ask to see some work. Obviously, if um, the client's call new, I can pass them on to maybe five or six past pro projects. They can go and walk around and have a look. They can speak to some um, clients, look on our reviews on social media. So yeah, always go with someone who's got a good track record and you can go and see their work. Brilliant. Um, how long will it take to convert my loft? So to convert the loft from start to finish. So we talked about planning. So planning will take at least two months. So while it's in planning, then um, you can work on the um, working drawings inside. So maybe two months of planning, two months for, uh, a month for party walls, and then the construction safely three months. If it's a big, if it's a big loft with a pod room, maybe a little bit longer. But, okay. but the whole the whole process from start to finish can be pretty quick if. Um, Obviously, planning is quite easy. Yeah. You're not asking the council to do anything unusual. It's a, it's, a, it's a loft conversion. So they're usually quite straightforward. Okay. Um, and I believe this is the last one. Uh, can I stay in my house during the loft conversion? The answer is yes. Um, we, 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 what we do when we do a loft conversion, we create the scaffold on the outside. We put a, a temporary roof over and then we take the roof off, we do all the works on the loft conversion first, and then once we're ready to break through, that's when it gets a little bit messy and a little bit dirty, but we make sure the clients are moved to a part of the house where it's safe, clean. Sometimes we build temporary walls within the house, which are sealed and dust-free. So yes, the answer to your question is, they can stay in your house, um, sometimes it can be a little bit slower. We do like people out, but obviously in London, if the clients do move out, rentals are a lot of money. So yeah. they can stay in the house and we will sort of work, work around them. Okay, perfect. And that is all of them. Thank you, Connor. Thank you.